Here's a square number. It's actually the number 36, represented here by a 6 by 6 square. But you can see uh, two edges of this square actually shaded in brown. What we want to see though is what happens when we want to create the next square number. So let's look at a procedure for doing that. One thing we're going to assume, even though this square is not too large, let's pretend the square was so large that we couldn't count how many pawns were in brown. Now the number of pawns in brown can either only be an even number or an odd number. Let's assume they're an odd number and see what happens. Take the next square by shifting those pawns in brown diagonally as shown. And when we do that, we'll nearly have the next square. Notice we're just missing two pieces, and we can put those pieces in in yellow. So what's the relationship between the brown pawns, which were the original sides of the square for the, the smaller square, and then the, the brown pawns plus two? What happens if we, if we said the brown pawns represented an odd number? What have we got now when we add the brown pawns plus 2? We've in fact got the next odd number in, a se in the sequence. And so you can see we can build up the next square by adding the next odd number in the sequence. That does rely, however, on one assumption that we made, that the brown pawns there were in fact an odd number. So let's step this all the way back, because this should work for squares of any size. And let's look at what was the first square that we could make. The first square number is 1, and it's made of 1 pawn, which is in itself an odd number. The next odd number in the sequence is 3, and so if we add 3 to that, we've now got 4, which is the next square number. The next odd number in the sequence is 5, and if we add 5 to that, We've now got 9. There's the next odd number. So there's a, a sort of a proof by what we would call induction. Looking at um, making an assumption, seeing if it's true for the next one in the series, and then if we can assure ourselves that it's true for the first one in the series, then that chain of events should make sure that it's true for all in the series.